Hello guys, my name is Claudio Alvarado and this video will be focused on the individual's point of view of counterfeit products. One of our participants decided to remain anonymous. What kind of counterfeit products do you often purchase? Oof, well, I purchase anything from uh, movies to clothes to even things I use in interviews like, like this mask for example. <laughs> I got that for a uh, for a good price um, in Mexico. I remember that they had a little a booth off the side of, of the main event, and they were selling these bad boys. So I, I grabbed one. It was good, um, and uh, you know I don't I don't have any regrets. Uh, but I I'm, I buy anything counterfeit if I can find it. I'll, I'll buy. It. Cologne and uh, what else? Clothes sometimes. Clothes. Cologne and clothes. Okay. Um, what brands? As, I as think as like counterfeit as products. As far as anything? Yeah. Uh, Givenchy, Versace, you have uh, counterfeit products with Prada, sunglasses, uh, Ed Hardy clothing, things like that. Okay. Uh, counterfeit perfumes because they're very easy to find. They're basically everywhere downtown and they smell exactly the same as name browns, only they're one third of the actual cost. Often purchase like about a couple cologne, maybe video games, depending on what it is. Um, let's see. Hair products. <laughs> Beats, headphones, um, Versace, <laughs> Versace, Versace, yeah. Be more like the movies and the computer programs. And the main reasons are because, well, the computer programs, if you get like the Windows 8, it's like a hundred dollars, you know? And I can just go to like a flea market and get it for like 10 bucks. And I'm saving like a whole bunch of money right there which I can invest on something else. And then the movies, well, they're 20 bucks when they are released, when I can get like five for three dollars at the flea market. I mean, who's gonna pass that? Uh, here in the RGB, I think it's pretty easy to get that kind of stuff, but people know where, where to get stuff. Uh, they know they can get them in the flea market in Hidalgo, the flea market in McAllen, down from McAllen, or just, just get them online. You know? I don't think it's difficult at all, especially in the area we live in. I've been downtown McAllen, and, and I've seen the the handbags and the sunglasses, the wallets, you know, the the the, the name brands that everybody wants, the Michael Kors, the Coach. At one point, everybody wanted it, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't think it's hard at all. Also, I know at the flea markets they they sell a lot of counterfeit products like the the well the purses as well. But I know they also sell makeup, the Mac makeup, and yeah, it's not hard. Counterfeit products in this part of the valley it will be pretty simple. You can find them anywhere, and they will even sell you pretty much whatever you're looking for. Complex, complex. It, it 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 is complex um, to find them, to get a hold of them, to, to to make sure that you you acquire them in a way that doesn't attract much attention. Uh, it's it's not that complex to find them. It's just a matter of, of uh, knowing knowing the whereabouts, knowing where they usually are sold and are dealed. Um, so. That's actually not that hard. It's not that complex. Um, it's just a simple Google search away, um, and that that th that would be my answer to that question. Not not very complex, but uh, it is it is complex later on if if you uh, if you don't exactly do it discreetly. It's not that difficult. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's on every corner out there, basically. Okay. products um i feel good about myself you know everything's cheap um cheaper than the actual product itself so i feel kind of good okay. knowing that it's cheap but it's still a very good product to buy. okay well i think it depends on the product uh because uh 
some of the products here, uh, the quality of them are like pretty much like close to the to the originals. So I think I'm saving a lot of money, but it all comes back to the to what kind of product and what do I want it. Uh, what I don't want the product for me to do. I feel glad because I, I know I'm gonna save some money. If I were to buy the original item, I'm gonna spend like 75% more than on the counterfeit product. I feel pretty good when I buy counterfeit products because just the thought of me saving money on a product that I could get at a much cheaper price than the original one, I think that's a pretty good feeling. It's like when you go like on the Black, Black Friday sale. Everything is on sale, you, you kind of go crazy and go around buying all this stuff that you don't really need, but yet it's cheap. And what do we like? We like cheap stuff. We don't like to pay for the full price. Uh, when I buy pro counterfeit products, I am I feel kind of guilty because I don't I know the effect that it has buying counterfeit products, but they are like, way cheaper. So I mean, I can I feel bad, but my budget feels worse. I usually feel good knowing that I'm getting the best deal in a similar product. It, it feels, to me it feels good honestly because I feel like as a consumer I've taken the, the burden upon myself to go and search out the best deal even though it might not be the actual brand or product. I feel like I have been an intelligent consumer. If you were to go to the downtown area, you might find a lot of Chinese people selling all their cheap products that they import from over there, which they might not be the best quality, but yet they are cheaper than the original ones. Also, if you would go and buy online, you don't really know who is selling to you, so it might vary from who, who might be the typical person online. Um, mostly at flea markets, bargains, garage sales. Um, yeah. I purchased from um, lots of sources, uh, anywhere from the internet to La Pulga. Um, so it, right. it just depends on the product I'm looking for. Um, if 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 I want, for example, uh, a pirated uh, DVD, I'll just head down to my local Pulga. If I'm looking for um, a certain clothes, I might go to eBay and find and find a pirated. Uh, uh, clothes or, or you know articles of clothing I'm and, looking for. And by Pulga you mean flea market, right? Flea market, yes. They, they have local ones uh, all throughout the valley with uh, with great deals and uh, nice uh, bonuses, cheap cheap food as well, which keeps me there shopping. Here in the RGB, people can get them um, either in the flea market down from Macallan or just online. I have purchased uh, counterfeit products in the flea market and I also I bought them once when I went to New York. I went to Chinatown and I bought a counterfeit products over there. Well, usually like uh, most of the time like all, all, all of these products come from uh, Asia, like from China, Taiwan, uh, even the Philippines. Uh, we usually all the time they come they come from there. Uh, well, I think like counterfeiting and piracy, it's like practically everywhere, everywhere in the world. Uh, but no offense to the Chinese, but I think a lot of it comes from China. No, I don't have anything against the Chinese people. They're very hardworking people, but they make it's just the Chinese make everything. They just make legitimate things, not legitimate things. They make imitations, fake things, unfake. Uh, they just make everything and they produce everything. They're the major producers. We're major consumers from China, so a lot of the things that uh, that are counterfeit, counterfeit, they I think they come from China, probably. That's like the mo the highest uh, manufacturer, probably. I will say. It's usually some uh, some locals, or, or or maybe even from across the border. I have a feeling that that a lot come from uh, from Reynosa or, or or nearby cities. But um, it's usually hardworking, uh, middle-aged folk that are, uh, you know, l l looking to innovate the, the market space a little bit and and open up a, a certain areas for for people who are looking an alternative for an alternative product to to the everyday more expensive option. 
And if I'm on the internet, um, you, usually that takes a little bit more of uh, ingenuity on my part. I have to, you know, look up what I'm looking for and then find a cheap price. And then sometimes I find out that it might not actually be the real deal, that it might be a counterfeit. I think it all depends on if the customer knows what he's buying. Because uh, so, sometimes like uh, they they buy like a counterfeit and they don't even know about it. So when the product like comes out like a, like with defects or stuff, they think they're buying the original. So they they create like a, a bad reputation for the for the product. Well, not for the product, for the brand. Counterfeit products impact the fashion industry in the sales. Why? Well, you go out there and you get this product for a much cheaper price, but you're not buying it from the original company. So they're not getting that sale, which you are getting a way better offer, but you're really hurting that company. Also, you're gonna hurt the company in their prestige look. Why? Because you're getting their product with maybe the same quality for a cheaper price. And if you're gonna pay like for two for the original product, you're, they're not supposed to be able to make a replica of it or a pirated product. That is why you're gonna pay so much, but yet you're still able to get that product on the market. The products decreases the, the profit the big, big industry produces, and I think they they also decreases the job opportunities <coughs> that that industries can offer for the people. Well, it's sort of a ripoff for the people that do sell real things, but I mean, as far as the fashion industry goes, well, I guess it boosts it up because I mean, you have a lot of people buying things like that because just because it's cheaper. Okay. If I said financially, the fashion industry doesn't make that much money because the country products are being sold in the streets. Um, they impact the fashion industry because all these products are real cheap. And um, and the, and they lower oh and the the fashion industry you said yes they have to lower their their sales in order to get their customers back just because they're um buying the cheaper products. I don't think my parents or my family mind at all because they actually buy some too. They buy uh, counterfeit perfumes all the time because, like I said, they're very easy to find and they're not as expensive as we got. Yeah, they feel pretty good. I mean, the reason that they're buying the product for a cheaper price, they they really don't care if it's fake or not. No, I guess that my family doesn't feel anything from buying them. I, I mean, like, they don't feel bad. that They, they don't feel that they're stealing. They probably feel that, um, they are like, you know, they're making, they're making a good deal out of out of them, you know, because they're getting a movie for one dollar instead of buying one for twenty dollars, so they're saving like uh, almost ninety percent on the on the movies. Um, like I know my my uncle, he has like a lot of a lot of uh, uh, piracy movies, a lot of pirate movies. He says. He almost has like a blockbuster in his house, and sometimes I borrow movies from 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 him. And I know sometimes like my cousins buy, my little brother, they buy some movies and stuff like that. Um, but I guess from the consumer's point of view, it's like if they had made made like a like a great deal because they're saving money and like I guess they feel they feel cool. They don't feel that like they're stealing. They actually feel like you know they they're. They're getting something on sale or something like that, so I guess that's how I feel. Most of my family is okay with buying this kind of product because they don't know the impact of, of them and they will happily buy a car counterfeit product without uh, thinking it twice. We came to the conclusion that Generation Y consumers purchase the most counterfeit products, such as these Rayman Magic. We noticed that in this area, the majority of the individuals purchasing uh, products are Hispanic origin. What's right? We believe that the main reason people purchase these types of products is because of price, accessibility, and a desire to belong.